A better living quality for all. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 112. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 112, April 26, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with videos and pictures. And if you'd like to receive or see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com to be added to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the next 50% of the written section and images for the open source lesson plan to the website. You can see these new details here and here, bringing this page to 75% complete. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the final 25% of this lesson plan, bringing the writing portion of it to 100% complete. Also behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of our lesson plan with the central theme of nature, which brings that to 75% written completion. Here you can see the embodiment and goals section of another behind the scenes component we worked on this week. This is part of the comprehensive evaluation, assessment, and mutual feedback model we are developing for students and their teachers. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, finished the next 25% of the image creation for the nature lesson mind map, which you can see here. This brings this mind map to 50% complete. And these mind maps and the lesson plans we're developing teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme. Paige also helped us create this new image for the love lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the first social media imagery and featured our Food Forest Root Crop Plantings Hub. We also researched and added three additional recipes to the Alliums Open Source Hub, which you can see here. These recipe lists will keep growing as our food experts continue adding to our food self-sufficiency transition plan with the recipes that they are specifically developing for this plan. In addition to this, and as an example of these recipes, we add another yummy recipe from Benjamin Sessions to the omnivore section of our food self-sufficiency transition plan wild rice with cod and Chilean pebre. You can see these re this recipe and photo here. Uh, also, we added three new wonderful recipes to the vegan section of the food self-sufficiency transition plan. These recipes are from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? And they include mangoji citrus smoothies, cream of cauliflower soup, and garbanzo and brown rice burgers. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, 
and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing continued progress on the assembly specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture. This work is happening behind the scenes, and what you see here will be part of the Earthbag Village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week, we finished the redesign of the two back shelves and step 7.7 .7 assembly instructions. We estimate we're now 73% complete with this behind the scenes work. The core team also added and edited additional Earthbag Village water collection specifics to the website. The specifics you see here are for sizing the water storage pond. This is the work of Matteos Manfredini, civil engineering student specializing in urban design, and we say the complete design details are now about 60% done. Jogo Rosada, civil engineering student specializing in hydraulics, also completed the first draft of putting the Earthbag Village Tropical Atrium into AutoCAD. See that here? Sheng Su, mechanical design engineer, also finished his fifth round of SolidWorks design specifics for the three dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This work included adding the staircase you see here and exploring different roof covering options. Nelly Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, also created this new design for the shipping container village pod 5 featuring maximum passive solar and a three level stack design that will be able to be built on or off a sloped grade. In this area of the project we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician if you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Ricardo Carrillo, Senior engineer and principal of Acumen Industries began working on the structural engineering specifics for the Duplicate City Center cupola. You can see his initial exploration and designs here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team completed this social media image for the People's Agenda 21 Ocean Preservation Resource. We then featured this page. We also recreated the People's Agenda 21 submission form for easier feedback and resource contribution from the global community. You can see this new input page here. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. A better living quality for all life and all people on this planet is possible if enough people want it. If enough of us become interested in this idea of creating a better planet for everybody, creating a sustainable world for all people, then we will live in a sustainable world. So one community's goal and our purpose is to make it as easy, as affordable, and as attractive as necessary to create a self-replicating solution that will spread across the world and create exactly that. We want to reach the tipping point of human participation, of mainstream interaction and involvement so that we all get to benefit from a better planet. And we think that it's totally possible. Our path to creating this is open source. We believe that if we come together with a consciousness for the highest good of all, we bring together the people that believe that this better living quality for all people, all life on this planet is actually a possible end goal. If we bring together the people that believe it's possible and we start creating highest good solutions for food, energy, housing, education, for-profit, non-profit, business creation, recreation, as well as true earth stewardship, and we open source and free share all of these foundations, so they, they can be implemented as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built anywhere in the world. We think that we can build the bridge between pragmatism and idealism. We can create the planet that we know is possible by involving people in the process, by making it 
easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating is attractive enough that people will get involved for their own reasons, whatever their diversity of reasons are, but by clearing away all the barriers to involvement and most importantly, demonstrating that attractive enough piece with a lifestyle that most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they live right now. We'll provide more time for them to do the things that they love to do, as well as more activities for them to involve themselves in, as well as you know, bringing together family and friends and like minds in an environment to create something. And that something could be something that just they want, you know, an escape, or it could be something like what one community is creating, which is global transformation. Working together as a global cooperative of organizations that are adding to the open source archive of tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints necessary to create completely sustainable and self-sufficient city infrastructure. Building it anywhere in the world and demonstrating the broad diversity of sustainable methods that can be implemented in artistic and beautiful ways that other people want to replicate as well. And open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations so that other people can replicate them. So this is it. This is what we're up to. This is our idea of a better living quality for all people, all life on this planet, is to clear away the barriers and involve people in the process to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own with teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like something that you would like to be involved in, we have lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer team, which are the people that will move to one community and build the first prototype. Build all seven sustainable village models and open source and free share all the details which we are already doing. Our core team is already the people that are organizing all of these details and making this happen right now. But there are also other options. There's satellite members, which are people that just participate in our weekly calls and are part of all of our behind the scenes activities, but not moving to the property. There's partners and consultants, which are the people that are donating and volunteering their time. Or you could just be one of those people that shares our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks from LinkedIn to Twitter to Facebook to Pinterest. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to participate in a way that works best for them. And of course, people ask, well, what's the number one thing that people could do to support one community and our goals and our creative process and everything that's happening right now? Well, number one would be to join our team. Number two would be to help connect us. You know, we're still looking for large-scale funding. We're still looking to get the property off the market that we have now been working with for four years. We've been building a relationship with the county. We've been designing with this property in mind. It's a property specifically chosen to share one community with hundreds of thousands of people by inviting them to come and visit and experience one community. It's located with the beauty. It's located with the, with the close proximity to an international airport so that we can make it as easy as possible for people to come and participate from the first beginning stages, within the first six months of us landing on the property, as soon as we have the basics of infrastructure necessary so that people can come and start helping, then we'll be able to host people that want to come and be a part of building the first village model. And that village model will start construction way before even that. So as soon as we have the first few domes up and we're organized and our leadership team is clear on what it is that we're doing and we have enough people trained to start training other people, then we will invite people to come and visit and participate. So we're looking for that individual, we're looking for that group that would like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or invest in one community to help us get that property off the market so that we can then take everything that we're doing right now to the next step, which includes surveying the land, which includes starting to adapt all the designs that we have designed for maximum implementation anywhere to our specific location and teaching people and open sourcing those details you know, the idea of a better living quality for all people in all life requires a lot of small steps, a lot of individual components. And so we are chronicling with these updates and all of our open source creative process tools, tutorials, and resources, the entire creative process. So that includes the creation of everything as the foundational template, but then it will also include all of the open source details for how to modify it and adapt it to people's individual situations. And then when others start adapting even beyond our own adaptation, we'll be inviting them and hosting their content as well and teaching those adaptations and open sourcing and free sharing those adaptations too so that the global archive of information and solutions becomes larger and larger. So this is what we're up to. This is what we're creating. 
the invitation is there if you'd like to get involved. We say thank you to everybody who donates to our project. The small donations, we're all, we're 100% unpaid, all volunteer staff. So those small donations help us pay for plugins, for our website, for basic uh, expenses like uh, nonprofit expenses for our running our nonprofit, um, small, minor marketing expenses, things like that. They allow us to keep functioning. They allow us to continue to expand to create more open source content. There's a lot of printing and that kind of stuff that's actually necessary for our project as well. Um, photocopying blueprints and things like that. So the small donations all go towards that. And anything that's left over is going towards the property. So no penny is wasted and, and uh, all of us volunteers really appreciate the small donations. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for liking and sharing on Facebook. Thank you for the emails of support, the comments of support, all of that. And of course, uh, if you would like to follow our progress, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email updates list. So until next week, thanks for following our progress, and of course, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.